Hi guys, um, I want to talk about um, bullying for a while, I'm going to make a couple of videos on it. Um, and in this first video I'd like to talk about why bullies bully. And bullies bully for a number of reasons, but the main reason is down to fear. You may not believe it and you may not think that you know it's possible, but a bully really bullies other people because they are afraid of that person. And it not necessarily doesn't have to be that, that they're afraid physically of the person, that they're afraid the person could hurt them or harm them. It's more that they're afraid of the person because they don't understand that person. You may be a different from a different social background to the bully. You may have a different education to the bully. And it can be from a higher position or a lower position. It doesn't matter which way it works out. It's still all the same. Just once you're different to that person, then sometimes some people will feel a need that they have to um, control you in how they think that you should be and how they think that you should act. When you have situations like that, it's down to a lack of integration and to make things um, more open to make sure that a group of people um, don't end up in bullying situations. There should be more and more collective um, events, especially if it's in a school or if it's in a martial arts club. In martial arts clubs, we have competitions and we have, we have got gradings as well. Um, but they may not always happen very often, so you don't always get opportunities to, um, to get a lot of your people together into one place so they don't all know each other um, really well. So what I found in Rebel Martial Arts is you know we've done we've we have Christmas parties and we have birthday parties for the studio. Um, we do events like going to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in the city. Um, we do different things like that and with that involve getting the members all together um, and as well as then with the gradings and the competitions they get to be around each other. What what that does then is it creates community. When you feel that you're connected to the other people in your group, then you're less likely to bully them. Now, when there's there's always a bit of you know um, pressure between social pressures between different people, and that is down to just trying to some people. Some people, it's a human thing, want to try and find a dominance over um, other people. They're trying to find a pecking order. What martial arts does is it keeps that pecking order under some kind of control where we have the belt system and in the belt system we ask that some that members will respect other members no matter what grade they are but also you would especially respect and highly respect the members who are ahead of you. So if somebody's in a higher higher position in the belt system, then you would give them um, as much respect as they're due. You know, for, for making that effort to get to that level. Rebel martial arts. I ask all my students to respect everybody, no matter who they are or what level they're at. You know, if somebody just walked into the club today. Then I would ask the members to respect them as much as, as they would respect me. Hopefully they have a high respect for me. But when when you when you create that situation, we can remove the fear of the bully, then they don't feel the need that they have to dominate over other people. And then you create then a situation where if there are problems of domin domination coming over come over the line, you're going to find that other members are going to step up and stand up for the people that are being you know, bullied or being dominated and then correct the action before the instructor has to do anything about it. I think it can really be done very well in schools as well and any schools that do a lot of um, integration type of activities um, should get the same kind of results. You're always going to get a situation where people <clears throat> are going to be constantly looking to dominate other people and there's not much you can do about that. But 
just taking one step by trying to remove the fear of the unknown try to integrate the people that are quiet and um, that are withdrawn with the people that are extroverted so that they can grow with each other and understand each other and I think really just that's one step can be a big way towards easing the bullying problem.